What were your impressions of the three brothers, Lenny? Well, Charlie Cray was always my friend, and he was my friend till he died. But them two scum. If they'd have stayed away from the East End and left the East End people alone, they probably wouldn't have done bird. But they brought about their own downfall. Because they was hurting people in the East End, they was cutting and carving people up, even shooting them, you know. And then they was going as far as uh, targeting thieves who don't know a signal, like I did myself. And they sent two geezers round to me for two grand, which they never got anyway. We'll get on to what happened to you later on, but did you ever witness any other violence then? Did you ever see? Oh yeah, I see him um, when I was in the Regency Club one night. Um, a little fur, little about three or four geezers come in in the Regency, and uh, the craze, they were chasing them, over, cutting them, and chasing them about all over the club, and there was blood everywhere. I don't know what the fellas, what they did it to the fellas for, but I was there and I witnessed what they done. To them. What do you think of the myth? That, you know, well, I think it's disgusting. Uh, uh, well, it's like Jack the Ripper. It go on and on. I think it go on because people, um, well, they're interested in them. They, they wasn't celebrity gangsters. As people say, so they, they they had their photos done with celebrities, but no way was they celebrity gangsters. They were scum. You know, I know they're all dead. Charlie Cray was my friend, and he was my friend to the day he died. Charlie, he was a nice man, but you can't blame him for what his brothers done. Him. I'll tell you what, if you was in a, having a drink in a pub and there was women in the company and Charlie Cray was there, you couldn't swear in front of any woman and that was Charlie Cray. He was a very nice man. And he, the trouble is, Charlie Cray was well respected in the East End, where they was feared. And that's why they didn't like Charlie. They, they used to always, I've been in the house when I've had a guy at Charlie. And I thought to myself, you shouldn't do that in front of me, not your brother, you know. But they were jealous of Charlie because people respected him and people did like him. I did. You know, he's dead now. And he's still my friend, even though he's dead. Can you just tell us a bit about Jack and Jack? He was a nice fella. All right, he got drunk. How many of us have got uh, made ourselves look idiots? I think I have at times. I don't know. A friend of mine have done it. We've all done it. But Jack never hurt anybody. They said. Um, that Jack threw his wife out of a car and she broke her back. When Jack went missing, she was the first one up the police station to find out what's happened to her husband, or, you know what I mean? Jack, Jack wouldn't hurt a woman. He'd have an argument, but he wouldn't hurt a woman. And he was a, he's a bloody nice man. He done, he done uh, seven years on the all with Eric Mason, you know, and no one had a bad word for him. Obviously we're going to no, we're not expecting to name names, but we're looking for whether there's mad Teddy Smith. Oh, Teddy. I've had many drinks with Teddy. He wasn't mad. He was a very educated fella. He was homosexual. But I take people as I find them. And because he was homosexual, well, he can't help it. He don't, but he was a friend of mine. Well, I class him as a friend of mine. I've had a few drinks with him. I mean, the last thing I had with Teddy was in the, uh, a pub called The Flask in Neverbottle in uh, Highgate Village. But he was getting drunk, and I thought I'm having it away because I don't want to get no bother, and I had it away. But um, Teddy, uh, he did get drunk and go round some of the clubs where the craze were getting. Uh, protection money for, and he was causing a bit of trouble, like you know, and it was an embarrassment to the craze. You know, I was, you know on their part, I'll make them right, really, but there's no reason to kill him, you know. And uh, oh, he's definitely dead, and uh, I think they killed him, which I more or less know where they killed him. It was in, off of Stoke, in Stoke Newton High Street, in a pub down there. 
and at the side of the pub there was a large alleyway, it's still there today, and it's dark, and that's where they don't set them down there. Because uh, a friend of mine, I can't mention his name, he's still alive today, he's a great friend of mine, Reggie Cray, uh, took uh, my friend to uh, where Teddy lived to remove his car. Because if his car wasn't moved, neighbours would start thinking, well, that's weird, what's happened to Teddy? He's like, his car ain't moved, like, you know. So he had to take the car away. And that, that car went where the bodies had gone and all, you know. I think he had a silver zephyr at the time, Teddy Smith. But he was a, he was a nice fella. He was a nice fella, I think so, anyway, you know. As I say, I'll take people to find them. I don't listen to other people. I either like someone or I don't, you know.